Good evening, sports fans. Todd Edwards coming to you tonight from downtown York at the Yorktown Hotel, and we're joined by a special guest, 2008 MLB Hall of Famer, Rich Goose Gossage. Welcome. Your thoughts, what brings you to town this weekend here in York, Pennsylvania? Well, I was doing some work today at the uh, baseball warehouse uh, here in York, and we're outside of York, Pennsylvania. I'm not sure what town that is in, but... Uh, it's a great facility, indoor facility. There's four or five of them in the uh, region of Baltimore and in, in Pennsylvania and so on and so forth. And, and it's not a there's not a better place to learn uh, from ex big leaguers. Uh, it's an indoor facility. Get out of the cold is the main thing. We did not from Colorado and we didn't have facilities like that back in the day. So we just froze our butts off. So yeah, not all of us live in Florida. These are these are great facilities, but that's what I'm in town. An all skills camp, a 22 year career. Do you have a highlight or two from your 22 year career? I know you were a Yankee, closed out with the a- Oakland A's. Well, talk a little bit. You know, all I wanted to do was put a big league uniform on one time, and then it turns into nine different teams and 22 years later and, and an induction into the Hall of Fame and you know all the I said even the home runs I gave up were great so um, I, I have to pinch myself that I had this kind of career and you know doing and speaking to groups like this um, you know it just doesn't get any better than that and one final question on my end here with Sports Shooting Stars. We're down to the Final Four in baseball. Any predictions from you and from the AL and NL, NL who will make it and ultimately will be the 2023 World Series? Well, I think I think Yogi said it best that it's not over till it's over. It ain't over till it's over. And those, no truer words have ever been spoken about a game that uh, it isn't over until that last out is made. And... Uh, so that, you know, it has a mind of its own, and that's one of the things that I have a problem with, that they're trying to control a, a game today that is uncontrollable. You deal with the crap as it comes at you, and it's coming at you. Great. Um, Beetle Bailey here with Locked In Magazine. Um, with the relief pitcher, and I guess also you have somebody who's going to catch your pitches, uh, who might have been uh, one of the all-time catchers that you uh, threw to? Well, the greatest catcher I ever got to throw to was Thurman Munson. But, uh, certainly we lost him. I only got to play with him about a year and a half, and then he got killed in a plane crash. Well, he was the best catcher. Also, uh, one thing uh, I'm kind of interested in, in catcher gives you signals. Um, was there a ton of signals, or how many signals might you have in one like one game or between one pitcher and catcher? Uh, sometimes Sermon didn't even give me a signal. He just <laughs> gave it to home plate like this. Well, throw, just throw a fastball? I'd say, he call, I'd call timeout, and he'd come out, and he'd go, what? I said, well, give me a sign. He said, who are you going to trick? <laughs> and then run back, and that'd be it. Good. So, okay. I appreciate you stopping out here for the baseball, for the warehouse. Uh, I know they're doing a lot of great things. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks.